Hi, this is Vincent from the Azure Data Explorer team. Today I wanted to quickly show you how to connect to a Cosmos DB that is behind a private endpoint. So we're looking at uh, Azure Data Explorer connecting to Azure Cosmos DB. Now, although the data is flowing from right to left, so from Cosmos DB to Azure Data Explorer, and we're having documents being ingested in Data Explorer, the network flow or the connection initiation is really done from Azure Data Explorer to Cosmos DB. So it's Azure Data Explorer initiating the connection to Azure Cosmos DB. So regardless of how Azure Data Explorer networking is configured, if we have a VNet injected or private endpoint or public cluster, doesn't matter. What matters here is how Cosmos DB is configured. If it's public, it works fine out of the box. If it's not, if it's behind a private endpoint, then we need something that's able to connect to it. And that something is called a managed private endpoint. So we need to configure a managed private endpoint on Azure Data Explorer side so that ADX is able to connect to it and it's able to connect to Cosmos DB. You can think of a managed private endpoint as a NAT endpoint so that uh, basically Azure Data Explorer has a private connection into Azure Cosmos DB without having access to the private DNS and that type of thing. So that's what we're going to do. So for starter, let's look at this resource group. So I have an Azure Data Explorer cluster and an Azure Cosmos DB account. Now let's go to Cosmos DB and I'm going to quickly add a container, the database, I'm going to call the database main, the my container partition part, and that's about it. All right, I have my database main and my container, my container. I'm going to look at the item. Of course, the container is empty. I'm going to add a document. And for simplicity, I'll add a document beforehand because after the fact, uh, I won't have access to the container. I don't want to set up a bastion and that type of thing. So my name is Vincent. Come up, please. Save the document. All right. I now have one document in my container. That's all I want. Now maybe just we want to look at the networking. This container is public right now. Okay, so let's go back to the resource group and let's go to my Gusto cluster. Now I'm going to go in query mode. I have one database called MyDB. I'm going to create a table. I call test table. If you're familiar with the demo we did a few weeks ago, you'll remember schema so i'm basically creating a table with just one name so something that can you know ingest data coming from customers db i'm going to then create a mapping called document mapping where i map the id to id name to name timestamp to timestamp and timestamp transform here this is what we recommend always transform the timestamp into a daytime format so it's more efficient inside custo and i'm gonna I'm going to enable the streaming ingestion policy, of course. In order to do that, I add on my configuration and enable it at the cluster level. Now I enforce it at the table level. It just means it's going to be faster for me to ingest just for demo purposes. Not good in every scenario, but in this case, it's going to be. Now, I want to connect to Customers DB. Let's say that Customers DB is already under a private endpoint. So how do I create this managed private endpoint? I go to networking. And I have the Manage Private Endpoints tab. I'm going to go there. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to choose a name. I'm going to call it My Customers DB Private Endpoint. Resource type important. I'm going to choose Document DB. That's the old name of Customers DB. And I'm going to choose the database account of Customers DB. And I'm going to choose SQL as the only one available. If there ever there's another one, we need the SQL endpoint because that's the one we support. Uh, description, please approve. Okay, so it's a two-step process. First, Data Explorer is going to create and manage a private endpoint. It needs to be approved by the owner of Customers DB. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any point to having a private endpoint. Anybody could just punch a hole through the walls here. You, you need Customers DB to approve it. This takes several minutes, so I'm going to fast forward to it. Okay, so we have the managed private endpoint is created. 
if we refresh the list, we should see it here. All right, so that's created on the Azure Data Explorer side. Now let's go see Cosmos DB side. Now you can see that I have a managed private endpoint that is pending. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to prove it. And yeah, okay. That takes several minutes as well. So I'm going to fast forward that part too. Okay, so Cosmos DB is done approving the private endpoint. Let's close that. Let's look at the public access. Let's disable it to make sure here, yeah, I want to make sure that there's no public access. So ADX cannot go to the public route. And again, we're gonna wait several minutes. I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, finally, we got the private endpoint of Cosmos DB configured. So Cosmos DB no longer is public. And we still have the managed private endpoint from ADX. So if we look at the data, you can see the network setting for this account are preventing the law. So no longer do we have access to the data. So come back to ADX. I'm gonna to go to my database. And I'm gonna show from now on, there's nothing special to do. We build the managed private endpoint and this is where the networking is gonna go through. This is where the current is gonna pass basically. So I'm gonna add a data connection of type Cosmos DB. Call it connection. So here I'm binding the Cosmos DB side. Here I'm binding the Custo side with the table and the mapping that we configured. And here I'm gonna go and say, from the beginning of the story, because I want to catch the document that I created at the beginning. Here you see that uh, it's giving access. So that's not network access, that's our back access. It's giving the role so that ADX manage identity as access to Cosmos DB change feed. That's another thing. And the first time you run that on a cluster, it sets up a couple of things. So it takes a few seconds to run. I'm gonna fast forward that as well. Okay, all done. Now, moment of truth, did that work? Let's go to query. So I'm gonna query the table that we created. And I see the data that I created at the beginning, boom. In summary, we had Azure Data Explorer. Again, doesn't matter what the network configuration is, could be behind a private endpoint or not. The important part is Azure Cosmos DB. It was not even a private endpoint. The public access was completely removed and there was no private endpoint. But a more, a more likely setup is that you have a private endpoint. What you need is you need to have access to this and that you do it with a managed private endpoint that you create on ADX side, you prove it on, AD, on Cosmos DB and then your connection is able to go through and you can ingest your data from Cosmos DB to Data Explorer. Oh, that was helpful. Try it. Let me know about it. Bye-bye.